No matter what the shape or size, computers perform one basic function. They manipulate ones and zeros in binary number calculations. The ones and zeros are read, interpreted, processed, and analyzed by the computer's core processing chip, handling millions of calculations per second. Instructions are sent to additional hardware to execute specific functions and perform the desired tasks. As computers have evolved over time, they have improved and progressed in performance and functionality, step by step. However, the basic design has changed very little over the last 25 years. Improvements have occurred as needed or required, more by default than by a single master plan for design or optimum performance. Internally, computers are linked to specialized processing devices called subsystems and externally to other computers in a network or to other hardware known as peripherals such as printers, scanners, monitors, speakers, and so on. The number of subsystems and peripherals a computer can house within itself or attach to itself is limited and upgrading is generally difficult and cost prohibitive. For example, a video card can be added to process and analyze video data. This new card, however, ties up one of the remaining expansion slots, preventing that slot from being used for other purposes. Once all of the expansion slots are full, it is very difficult to add additional capabilities or functionality. ISIS Technologies is changing all of that. With its patented XI3 design and technology, ISIS is drastically improving, modularizing, and miniaturizing the design of computers and their subsystems. For example, XI3 utilizes an advanced design in the computer's main circuit board, an advanced yet simplified patented cooling process. XI3 strips away the peripheral hardware that makes up today's computer systems, leaving only core processing as the basic building block. This means the XI3 architecture removes the core processing unit from the traditional motherboard with its sockets and expansion slots. The core processing unit is then complemented with the backplane. The backplane is a circuit board with active logic chips and interface components. The backplane is what gives the unit its identity or its personality, dictating the specific processing and functionality of the unit. This separation makes the unit easy to change, repair, or upgrade. Together, the core processing unit and the backplane combine to become a powerful processing subsystem called the Processing Control Unit, or PCU. The PCU's design creates symmetric multiple processing units. Each cube can be added or subtracted as dictated by application or user demands, making the core processor interchangeable and adjustable. As a result, a computer's application can be varied or manipulated at will. The XI3 architecture also gives the user the ability to build advanced subsystems of immense processing capability. Unlike current computer designs, XI3 provides the potential for an unlimited number of subsystems, peripherals, and vertical applications. This includes the ability to cluster and scale units for larger processing applications. In short, rather than adding peripherals, you link powerful subsystems together in a network. The units work together with the original processor to increase power and function exponentially. More units equals more power equals more functionality. It's easy to see how XI3 simplifies and broadens the possibilities of computing. Because each key piece of the computer, including the processing core and subsystems, can be added or subtracted, a user has access to the power of each processing core as well as its functionality. And this power and functionality can grow or be redefined as needed. A server can become a workstation one day and a desktop the next. Units assembled for a specific product or application yesterday can be reassembled, repurposed, and reassigned by the manufacturer the next without retooling the line or rebuilding a new process. The bottom line is that you can use the processing resources of multiple computers yet still have the seamless experience of a single computer. This also means reduced expenses to assemble, manufacture, ship, and support computers and computer systems. Welcome to the ISIS revolution.